Higher signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at and see uh, the one who has hurt you, the one who's broke your heart. So we'll go ahead and see what messages are coming up around this person and your connection with them. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. Now with all of that being said, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. guys you've come up as a six of swords a knight of swords and the three of swords and this is some very interesting and some very powerful cards that i'm seeing the first message that i get for you is that you cannot possibly heal yourself or heal your pain in the same place that you have been harmed okay so this is why the six of swords here has shown up it's absolutely important to uh, move on okay now moving on doesn't mean that you forget how this person hurt you or how they broke your heart into uh, pieces here you know shattered your heart into little tiny pieces and how you know they've put you through so much heartbreak pain or rejection it means accepting what has happened okay it means accepting the pain accepting the hurt um it, it's interesting because you know, and, and accepting doesn't mean that it makes it okay that this person has hurt you or they've lied to you, they've cheated on you or they've betrayed you here. It, it doesn't make it okay. It just means that you're accepting that it has happened so that you can start the healing process. You can start the healing journey. The one who broke you can't heal you. And I feel like for some of you, you might need to find a way to heal your own broken heart. You'll have to find a way to put yourself onto the pathway to wellness and healing. And some of you are there. Some of you are, you know, this person, you you know, you gave them your heart here. You gave them your trust and your heart was whole. And by the time they were through with it, your heart was shattered into, you know, tiny broken pieces here. I think in order for you to heal from this hurt and this pain, you cannot allow this person back into your space because for some of you, I think you're, you know, you cannot possibly be, because I think this is someone who's hurt you a couple of times, okay? I'm getting repetition with the swords here. And you cannot possibly be naive as to think that they're, them hurting you wasn't intentional. So the one who broke you knew what they, or the one who hurt you, or who pained you and broke your heart they knew what they were doing you cannot in some of you you kept giving this person second chances again and again and again and you cannot possibly be naive enough to believe that you know this person who broke your heart can also heal your heart you have to do the healing yourself here some of you you keep running back to this individual or if it's not this individual per se i feel like I'm seeing that you have some sort of hurt that you're carrying around with you and you keep seeking out partners or you keep seeking out relationships which kind of accommodate that pain and accommodate that hurt and create space for that hurt and that pain to thrive and exist. So some of you, you know, you can't be the one who hurt you, can't be the one to fix you. So you have to stop going back to that person or going back to those t same type of a relationships and expect for you know that person to make all your problems disappear but there's the root of your heartache you know it might not necessarily yes they might be they may have caused the pain that you're feeling here but for some of you i feel like in a way this pain has been your comfort for so long that 
you grew accustomed to it and it's become so familiar here and maybe you know maybe you keep running to this person because in a way they soothe you or you keep going back to this person because you know of the way that they hold you or cradle you in their arms you keep you can't keep doing that you can't keep running back to this person and have them heal your pain or you can't keep running back to and seek out relationships that cause pain and heartbreak again and again because it's only going to cause you more pain in the long run it's only going to cause you more heartbreak so it's important that that heartbreak is going to keep coming if you keep running back to the person who hurt you if you keep running back to the people that break you it's time to dig deep within yourselves guys and it's time to move on okay move on from anyone that causes you pain instead of um, bringing happiness into your life you're capable of taking on the situation all on your own you, you know you have you know it doesn't mean that you're going to have to be on your own forever you just have to do this this part of the journey on your own here you kind of have to pick up the broken pieces of your heart and kind of find it in yourself to stitch stitch it back together again because from what I'm seeing, this individual, I mean, you've given them so many chances. And look, everyone is, everyone is um, deserving of forgiveness, whether they ask for it or not. Okay, forgiveness is absolutely important um, as a healing, you know, as part of your healing process. However, for some of you, this, like, and that's what's going to, forgiving this person, forgiving yourself as well, is going to let go of all this weight that you're dragging around with you all of this heartbreak and all of this emotional baggage um it's not going to be easy it's going to take tears it's going to take time and you know it's going to take maybe every bit of ounce of strength from out of you and it's going to take days or weeks or months or even years but you are strong enough to walk away and you're strong enough to do it without this person um, as I was saying earlier, some of you, you keep running back to this individual and you've given this person so many chances. And maybe, maybe it wasn't all this, you know, it wasn't this person's fault entirely. Maybe you've played some sort of role in your heartbreak too, because, you know, time and time again, you've tolerated this person's behavior. So I'm not saying that, you know, it's, I think you're smart enough to know that this heartache is not good for you or you're smart enough to know that this person is not good for you at least not in this point in time um, but I think for some of you I see that it's kind of easier for you to go back to this person because maybe they're you know your best option right now or maybe they're your sense of familiarity you need to kind of you need to take a look you know you're so much stronger than you give yourself credit for um, you can fix yourself, okay? No one else can do that for you. you you'll you have to learn the lessons here yourself. Let this person go, okay? Try and move on and try and stop turning back to the person who broke you. And look, maybe they could wish that they could fix your problems, but they can't. You kind of have to be there for yourself right now. You know, you are going through some sort of inner emotional storm, whether with this person or whether without this person. Um, but it feels like, you know, have a little faith in yourself because leave the person who broke your heart where they belong in the past. Because I feel like if you keep coming back to this person, this person that hurt you and rejected you, you're only coming back to the pain. Okay, and it's almost like you're, you're going around in circles here. Moving on means that you're starting a healing process. Forgiveness means that, you know, you're putting yourself on the way here to healing, to wellness. Um, you need to move on because if you don't, you're repeating cycles, you're repeating pain here, okay? And you're kind of creating the space in your life for that to happen over and over again. So I'm seeing that healing is absolutely important. And I think that, look, I think th this person may or may not have been the root of all your heart, you know, your heartbreak and your heartache here. But I'm also seeing that there is some pain that you're carrying within, with a, you know, within you, and they may have had something or everything to do with it. I don't know the full, you know, your full story. You're the expert on your relationship. You're the expert on your life here. But I think you need to take some time right now to be intentionally single, 
to heal your own pain, to heal your own heartbreak, so that you don't keep running back to what hurt you or what broke you in the first place. Then there is this Ten of Cups, which is, you know, you getting your rainbow at the end of the storm. That could signal a potential reconciliation with this person down the track, maybe months or even years from now, when you're both help, help, sorry, happier and healthier versions of yourself. But for the meantime, do not keep running back to, you know, what hurt, what what has hurt you do not keep running back to the person that has broken you or has you know broken your heart because they cannot heal you if anything they will just add to this heartbreak you need to heal you and some of you i think you're doing that and you're doing a splendid job of that okay healing means feeling the hurt it means reliving some memories even if they haven't even if they have been extremely painful and I can see that this connection has brought you a lot of pain because swords are a weapon. They are destructive. But do not keep running back to something that causes you so much pain. Because essentially what you're doing is just you're cycling. You're recycling um, events, relationships and people here. And more specifically pain. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.